Spurgeon here with Revzilla TV to talk to you today about the Keiko throttle locks available at Revzilla.com. So a Kayoko throttle lock is going to be for you riders out there that don't have cruise control on your bike and you're simply looking for a way to lock your throttle to give your right hand some relief on longer rides. Kayoko does a great job of giving you a ton of different options ranging from universal to bike specific. There's about 180 different versions of the Kayoko throttle lock out there. So the first step that you're going to take is make sure you use the bike finder on our website to get you set up with the right throttle lock for your motorcycle. Once you have the right throttle lock for your bike installed, it's going to be a 1 out of 3 on our BSD, our beard scale difficulty for installation. You're looking at about 15 minutes to a half an hour in the garage and you'll be set to roll. We'll talk more about install at the end, but for right now let's jump in and talk about what sets the Kayoko throttle locks apart from some of the other different throttle locks out there on the market. So Kayoko got their start in 2002, they're an Australian based company and they've really set themselves apart by the wide variety of different throttle locks they manufacture. Like I said, there's about 180 different versions out there. Just on the table in front of me, I have a few different options to show you how they come in different shapes and different sizes. Starting on my right hand side, you're going to have a throttle lock for the BMW F800 series. You're going to have a KTM throttle lock up here on the pedestal. You're going to have a Ducati Multistrada throttle lock. And you're going to see there's going to be some with bar end weights, with art bar end weights. You're going to be able to choose whether or not you want them to be with handguards, OEM handguards, or bark busters. Over on my left hand side, you're going to see they're going to have them available for the Triumph Modern Classic series, as well as brand new models like the FZ09 from Yamaha. Again, just a ton of different options out there. The one thing that they're all going to have in common is you're going to have the main engagement nut. Now this is going to be gnarled. Some of the other manufacturers out there, there's going to be a smooth, sleek, streamlined look to them, but they're very hard to feel whether or not they're engaging with a pair of motorcycle gloves on. So what Kayoko does, and you can actually see it on the bar here that I have set up, they incorporate this larger gnarled nut. So when you have a pair of gloves on, your hand is on here, when you twist it back, you can feel it twisting with your throttle. You simply let go and it's engaged. To disengage, you take it and you just twist it forward and you're gonna be ready to roll. Again, really nice design with this. The other thing you're gonna notice is if you look very closely, there's a little set grub screw. Out of the box, you're gonna be able to put this on, install it and go out and ride. Over time, however, it will need slight adjustment and you need to make very small turns to that grub screw if you notice that your throttle lock is slowly loosening up and slowly disengaging without you twisting backwards. So again, this grub screw is really the only adjustment you're going to have to make on your Kayoko throttle lock. Now, there's one extra added benefit to a Kayoko throttle lock that they don't really expressly advertise. On a lot of modern motorcycles that are incorporating a throttle by wire system, you can use a Kayoko throttle lock to add a little bit of resistance and enhance feel. On some of these bikes, they can be very twitchy and just that little bit of added resistance really can benefit the rider and the feedback they're getting from their actual throttle system. Now, when we're talking about the Kayoko throttle lock, the one thing you want to keep in mind is that this is a throttle lock, not a cruise control. On a lot of modern motorcycles, you're going to have an electronic cruise control system. You set your bike at 65 miles an hour and your bike is going to roll along at 65 miles an hour. With the Kayoko throttle lock, you're simply twisting it towards you to engage the throttle lock and the throttle locks in place. If you start going uphill or downhill, that throttle doesn't alter. So if you go downhill, you're going to speed up. If you're going uphill, you're going to decelerate. So you're probably going to have to crank back on the throttle a little bit if you're going uphill or you're going to have to roll off the throttle a little bit if you're going downhill to kind of make up for that. Now, install for these, to get them installed, it's going to be a 1 out of 3 on our BSD, our beard scale difficulty for installation like we talked about in the beginning. About 15 minutes to a half an hour. There's a ton of different options out there that you want to consider. Most of these are going to reincorporate the actual bar end weights that come from the OEM. Some, like we talked about in the beginning, will come with brand new bar end weights. There's going to be options for you if you're using OEM handguards, Barkbusters handguards. There's a ton of different choices to choose from. Overall, 15 to 20 minutes, one main screw to take out, one main screw to put back in, and you'll be set to go. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you're using aftermarket handlebars, you might have to go with a universal application. All of these bike-specific options are meant to be used with the OEM handlebars. Just something to keep in mind. Overall, I think Kayoko did a really great job with their throttle lock system. I've used them on a variety of different motorcycles. I've helped my dad install them on a V-Strom, and they work exactly as advertised. There's a lot of folks out there rocking Kayoko throttle locks on their motorcycles. If you want to hear more about what they have to say, do me a favor, click below. 
Read what other riders are digging about the Kyoko setups they have on their bikes. If you have more questions for us, never hesitate. Get us on the phone. Give us a call, 877-792-9455, or simply type us out an email, cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Kyoko throttle locks. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.